run and the collection name is Google search. Okay. As you can already see, we have here the results. We have how many were executed for requests because there are four uh, requests in our collection, as you can see over here. Let Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will talk about Postman and uh, running uh, a collection. As you can see here on the screen, I've already opened Postman. I have several requests here. Yes, you can run them one by one, but let's say you want to run all of them. Then you have the option to uh, select your collection and just click here. This will open the collection runner just a few seconds and here you can run all the tests you have in your collection and it shows you a summary you can export the results if you want or you can do multiple things if you want to do this in the command line uh, there is a tool called Newman and uh, this video is about that besides running in uh, Postman, you can already uh, use a command line and integrate your collection. So you can integrate it with Jenkins, let's say, with uh, Newman, and let's get into it. First, uh, we need to check if uh, Node.js. Okay, we need to check if uh, Node.js is already installed on this machine. Oops. Uh, okay, as you can see, I don't have no GS and I don't have. No, okay, I don't have this one either. So let's uh, get into it. We're gonna go to my link, didn't want to copy. Node.js.org. Slash en slash download because we want to go directly to the download link. Okay, now let's select a Windows installer 64 bits. Yes, I want to install it. Let's see. Okay, now it finished. Download it. Okay. Next, I accept. Okay, next, next, next. Install. Yes, I will allow it. Now let's move on. While Node.js is installing, this is really easy to do. You can or use a new one on Linux either. So it's not uh, restricted to Windows or even on Mac. It's not something you can use only on Windows or Linux or Mac. It's all through the operating system. No, no, no minus version. Okay, now you see that uh, my node has been installed. Let me again. Okay, now we're gonna install a new one. For that, we're gonna do npm install minus g newman okay as you can already see it's already installing newman in a few seconds it will finish while this finish uh, let's uh, export our current uh, collection that we want to run via newman export collection vector recommended export we're gonna do the export on the downloads or on a new folder let's create a new folder here okay save uh, i'm gonna export also an environment just to show you how easy it is to we're gonna go to here i think this one yeah let's download this environment Okay, in the meantime, um, Newman is installing. I will open the 
um, path to that file let me see on downloads new folder we have here as you can already see on screen we have the two uh, one is the collection with all the tests and one is the environment okay uh, newman is installed and uh, let's go to that location downloads and for example we want to run that google search newman run and um, i'm in the wrong folder it's a new folder okay now newman run and the collection name is google search okay as you can already see we have here the results we have how many were executed for requests because there are four uh, requests in our collection as you can see over here let me open again just to show you all the requests were executed successfully these are just demo requests for the purpose of uh, showing how this works and for example if you have um, let's say you have that um, environment which we want to use we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna use this command it's same as before numer run and the collection uh, minus e this is for environment and here you can specify the environment i think test environment was mine yes but it won't make any difference in our case because the environment that i'm using is not related to the collection so for example this test environment has um, none of these variables are used in my collection so only for the purpose of um, demonstrating this is how you run uh, a collection via newman and uh, adding the parameter minus e and adding the environment of course the downside to this is that you need to export each time so if you go back to your collection and you make a change if you want to use i don't know another site like google.com then you need to save your request then you need to export again and so on so each time you make a modification or a change you want to make a change to your test you need to re-export again and then run the collection and Further on for Jenkins, uh, you just need to add a bash file or an executable file which will run this command from your Git repository or whatever you have your test stored. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.